Okay, so using this facial tools from Robocop, you can uh, remove and uh, disconnect the uh, impeller blade from the housing. So as you see here, this matches the shape from this side. So make sure that the groove is properly inserted inside the slot of the shafting this way. Okay, and on the blade side, this we need to insert this way. Okay. Using the bench bias, we will use the bench bias to open. So using the bench bias, we insert this side to the shafting. Okay. And then on the blade side, we're going to insert this one. Make sure that it is properly seated to counter the blade and disengage. Okay, so now this blade or shafting, it is in the same like a normal threading. Uh, clockwise, you are tightening it and counterclockwise, you are opening. So we will push this on counterclockwise, like this way. Okay, so now we manage to disconnect the blade so I'll show you easily it's not that easy actually but uh, you need to properly torque it Make sure that the groove in the slot is seated properly to avoid damaging the plastic uh, plastic uh, mold. to remove it as you see here this is seated inside the special tools and then the blade we can push it out easily okay so as you see here the ball bearings it's already damaged so we will go in to change the seal and the bearing okay so that is uh, how to to remove the uh, bearing to change the bearing from the there are two bearings actually, the top and the lower bearings that we need to replace. Okay, so we're going to buy now the new bearings and the shop seal and we will go into assembly. Okay, so easily we can uh, remove the uh, spacer between two bearings and the uh, broken bearing base. Okay. so it will be like this got two bearings 
So as you see here, got bearing on the, uh, on the top and uh, spacer, and then bearing on below plus another uh, spacer. So these are all will be inserted. Okay. So we insert one bearing. Remember that this is on the top where uh, you connect the the neck shaft, and this is down where you connect the, the blade. Okay, so insert one bearing, and then the spacer, then another bearing. Okay, and then the spacer. Okay, so uh, and this will be inserted here like this along with this. Okay, but uh, before that, we need to insert our shop seal. Okay, so basically, this shop seal will be inserted here inside. Okay, so we got the shop seal, got the bearing, the sleeve inside here, spacer, bearing, okay, and this will go inside the impeller housing this way, okay. Okay, so it's time now to assemble it uh, inside the uh, blade housing so if you see here I got the bearing and the spacer and this is on top I need to insert it this way like this okay and then put the uh, bearing So using number 16 socket, we will uh, push the bearing in, okay? Okay, so we place this here, side. Okay, so we insert inside. Place the spacer. Okay, and then we'll put the other bearing. This one. And using this T cell, I'll place this here so that it will not push back. And I am inserting or pushing the bearing inside so number 16 socket 16 mm socket we will going to push the bearing inside okay so as you see now the bearing in the sleeve is already sitting properly okay Now it's time to place the, the upper spacer. So we got the spacer and the seal. Okay, so this will be inside and this will be outside. So we have to insert the spacer that we remove. Okay, this way. And then we will fix it over here. Okay. So, again, easiest way is you have the new seal. 
uh, 10 by 7 uh, size of the seal and then the sleeve the spacer that we remove will insert it directly to the seal this way and then we will fix it over here okay so now as you see it is flushing and sitting properly on the bearing housing so now the next step is using our blade okay this blade we will going to insert it inside in here okay that uh, please make sure that you clean the sharp thing so that it will easily slide inside okay so insert this way like this okay okay let me show you how this thing is being assembled so you have the blade sharp thing okay you have the bush or the sleeve this sleeve make sure that this will insert here okay this way and then have to put the uh, attachment like this okay so as you see here these are all flushing or uh, inserted inside the uh, main connecting hub now we will going assemble it to assemble it uh, in the main uh, impeller housing okay now we can insert the blade push okay and then you can fix the hub okay and then touch the blade Okay, so using our special tool, we we grift it on the blade side, and then this is for the uh, hub nut. Okay, so we can tighten it well. So as I said, it is uh, threaded like a normal thread, clockwise to to tight and counterclockwise to open. So as you see here, this is coupled to the hub. Okay, and this one is coupled to the blade. Okay, so that is how easy to change the bearing. You don't need to spend uh, uh, $300 to buy this impeller. You just buy a bearing, okay, which is costing you about $2 each. And the uh, sharp thing, sharp seal, for also two dollar, and you can fix it. Now it's perfectly working with the new seal. Okay, so it's time now to.